So as you can see here, my text has some funky edges. Well, how the heck did I make that happen? I ran a filter on a mask that I attached to a type layer. So let's do that. Let's turn off the layer that I've made for you. Oops. So what I'm really going to do is delete the mask on the layer that I made for you. So we're back to just the type layer. So this is regular old text. Nothing special going on here. But what is special is what we're going to do next. We're going to load the shape of those characters as a selection and then add a layer mask. And then we're going to run the filter on the layer mask so that our text remains editable and unharmed. So to do that, let's command or control click the layer thumbnail itself. Not over here, over here because different things will happen if you command or control click over here than over here. Okay, so once again, let me deselect. We are command or control clicking the layer thumbnail to load it as a selection. Now let's add a layer mask and run our filter exactly like we did on the frame in the technique previously. So filter, go down to, this time we're gonna use brush strokes. We could use brush strokes. We could use distort. Distort ocean ripple is another good one that works on either creative frames like we just did or uh, text. So let's choose ocean ripple. Isn't that neat? So here we've got a nice preview of what's going to happen to the mask. I might take down the ripple magnitude a little bit just so our text remains somewhat readable. <laughs> this kind of effect you do not want to do on a whole paragraph of text, people. All right, this is for headlines only, really short words. <laughs> but it adds a neat distressed effect to them. So click OK, and that's it. <laughs> it's silly how easy this is. So let's do it one more time, shall we? Delete the layer mask. So here we are, we've, we've pressed T to grab the type tool. We've typed out the word hot. Now let's command or control click the type layer thumbnail. Trot down to the bottom of the layers panel, click the circle within a square icon to add a layer mask. With the mask active, choose filter. Anything in artistic would work for this. Anything in brush strokes would work for this. But just for fun, we're using Distort. Anything in Distort would work for this as well. And we're going to choose Ocean Ripple. But do experiment with those because they'll produce different effects. Change these settings if you'd like. Click OK. And that's it. Now, if the text isn't as distressed as you want it, what in the world would keep you from rerunning the same filter again? Just choose Ocean Ripple again or press Command F. So if I run it again, it's a little bit more distressed.